the secrets of a European government to return a terrorist diplomat of the Iranian regime to Iran. The controversial decision of the Belgian parliament to review the bill for the exchange of convicts with Iran next week. A bill that provides the possibility of the extradition of Asadullah Asadi, a former diplomat who was sentenced to 20 years in prison for involvement in a bombing. A European source revealed to Iran International that at least two Belgian citizens are detained in Iran. The identity of these two Belgians has not been mentioned. News that probably reveals the secret of the action of the Belgian government parliament. In a letter to the representatives of the Belgian parliament, some representatives of the European Union said that this exchange gives the religious fascism ruling in Iran a green light to continue its criminal activities and terrorism. But, who is Asadullah Asadi? Who were the members of his terrorist team? In June 2018, Asadullah Asadi, the third secretary of the Iranian regime's embassy in Austria, transported a bomb in diplomatic baggage by plane from Tehran to Vienna and passed the bomb package through the airport gate in a diplomatic cover. One morning in the summer of 2018, he entered Germany from the border of Austria in a red Ford car with his wife and child along with a package of advanced bombs containing half a kilogram of explosives, triacetone triperoxide. The police secretly watched him, he and his family crossed the land border into Luxembourg. On July 7, he entered a Pizza Hut branch to meet his relations. Two Iranian citizens of Belgium, Amir Saydouni and Nasima Naomi delivered the bomb package to them, and the codes were verified. On the phone, we only communicate through messages. All text messages should be such that, if checked randomly, any reader would think we are talking about a computer game. PlayStation means bomb and connections and explosive detonator mean TV plug. When we say come to the boarding house at a certain time, it means to turn on the phone at that time. Never call, never use email until several months after the terrorist attack. Do not travel by air. Only travel by land if necessary. Amir Saydouni and Nasima Naomi went to France to detonate a bomb in the Free Iran World Summit 2018 event, a gathering of 100,000 people of the National Council of Resistance of Iran in Paris. In this gathering, along with the keynote speaker Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, the president of the Iranian resistance, several hundred important international political figures, including Mayor Rudy Giuliani, Newt Gingrich the former Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States, Stephen Harper the former Prime Minister of Canada, and Mrs. Ingrid Betancourt, the presidential candidate of Colombia was present, but there was no explosion in the gathering. Asadullah Asadi, who was worried, moved toward the borders of Austria to use his diplomatic immunity in Austria. But the German police arrested him before he reached the border. Several notebooks containing valuable information were found in his car. A note related to the bombing was discovered in one of them. Before his arrest, Nazem Anomi and Amir Sayadani were also arrested in Belgium on the way from Brussels to Paris with the bomb they were carrying. During the police interrogation of them, horrifying dimensions of their terrorist plot were revealed. This case had four main defendants. It was revealed that, Nazem Anomi had been working for the infamous Ministry of Intelligence of the Iranian regime for a decade, but she lived as a refugee in Belgium, secretly traveled to Tehran many times, and had close cooperation with Iran's secret service. Based on a security intelligence plan, she established a friendship with Amir Sayadani through the internet and married him, and then they became Belgian citizens. Amir admitted in the interrogation that they actively started their relationship with Iran's criminal secret service in 2007 and met Asadullah Asadi many times in a Steglal hotel in Tehran and were justified by him. Amir Sayadani was trained to participate and act as a cover for Iranian resistance supporters in their rallies. He even took pictures with Iranian resistance figures. Amir Sayadani did not know all the details of the terrorist plot in which he was involved. During the Belgian police's interrogation of this terrorist team, it was revealed that after the terrorist explosion and the killing of people, he was also supposed to be assassinated and his murder and this terrorist act were presented as an internal settlement of accounts by the Iranian resistance. 
The next terrorist in this case was murdered Arafani, a poet living in Belgium who had gone to Paris on July 9, 2018 to attend the Free Iran Gathering. He was also a secret agent of the Iranian regime and participated in the gatherings of Iranian resistance members and did not imagine that anyone would suspect his intelligence activities. But the French police suspected him and kept him under surveillance. Another woman by the name of Negar is mentioned in this case, she also had a romantic relationship with Amir Sayadani through the internet to advance the path of the conspiracy. But Negar was none other than his wife Nazim Nomi. All the terrorist teams were extradited to Belgium and tried Asadullah Asadi, the commander and mastermind of this terrorist plot, was sentenced to the harshest punishment, that is 20 years in prison. As the second person in this terrorist plan, Nazim Anami was sentenced to 18 years in prison, Amir Sayadani to 15 years, and murdered Arafani to 17 years in prison. The Belgian citizenship of three people was revoked, and their Belgian passports were invalidated. In the appeals court, Amir Sayadani's sentence was extended by another three years. At all stages of the trial, Tehran called the trial a conspiracy against its diplomat Asadullah Asadi and denied it, but Ali Mohajiri, the former ambassador of Iran to Germany, confirmed in a government interview that the documents of this case are so strong and decisive that the Iranian regime cannot deny them. Now, after four years of this failed terrorist plot, the Belgian parliament is voting on a controversial bill, which is supported by the Belgian government. Lawyers for the private plaintiffs protested in a letter to the Prime Minister and Minister of Justice of Belgium. Michael Mukasey, the former US Attorney General, wrote to the Speaker of the Belgian Parliament, and Lord Alton, on behalf of the British Parliamentary Committee for Free Iran, opposed this layer. These international protests against this shameful agreement between Iran and Belgium continue. Although before this, European countries had made flexibility with the Iranian regime to return their imprisoned citizens in Iran, passing a bill and passing a law in Belgium gives more legitimacy to the policy of blackmail and terrorist acts, and hostage-taking by the Iranian regime. As for the Iranian terrorists, they will return to the arms of the regime not in a complex intelligence operation but with Belgian law, and they will be welcomed as heroes in Tehran. This is very embarrassing.